Welcome back, it's time for FOMO. Today we are discussing the impact and fallout amongst the gig economy stocks today. Jenny, Lyft, Uber, DoorDash, amongst some movers here to the downside on some news from the U.S. Department of Labor. Talk to me about what's going on here because these are uh, notable moves. I mean, notable moves, and I also was noticing that Lyft has quietly become one of the worst performers, really, of, of our coverage of the year. Perhaps that Uber's multiple legs of their revenue streams, a great deal of selling in all three of these names, names that have already taken it on the chin mm. this year. And I think this adds to the headwinds that have really surrounded Lyft and Uber, particularly, for years now. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, I'm not going to really com uh, comment too much on the act. Is this type of story, this type of potential regulation, and highlights the risks of investment into things that are, are new. Mm -hmm. And so there's tons of possible reward when you find a new technology or disruptive force within an economy, but there's also tremendous risks. We're seeing this play out in social media companies. We're seeing this now play out in these companies as well. If you look at it from a price uh, performance standpoint, uh, and just for the sake of uh, talking about a company that's a little bit uh, less reported on, uh, I looked at uh, DoorDash here today. It does, uh, it's doing a little bit better relatively. Communities are to provide vital dashers as students, teachers, stay-at-home parents. So, you know, meaning down the road, I do think that this is a hiccup. We've not the first time we've seen a gig economy headline that has crushed these stocks. So a couple of things to add to this. Mm -hmm. One is the impacts, which are to some extent unknown entirely. Mm -hmm. This isn't necessarily that uh, is not going to be a complete surprise and blindside situation to these companies, regardless of how the market perceives it. Uh, so you look at this, it puts the stocks under pressure. Implied volatility is very, very elevated. I looked at, at seeing this as sort of one of those situations of selling the news, mm -hmm. uh, or selling the rumor rather, I guess, before the, the reality of what happens uh, takes place. And so uh, using this as an opportunity to kind of uh, take advantage of maybe that heightened fear and reactionary response to, to this headline. And so went up to November selling it. One more question for you. I know that you're a food delivery guy, which I think that actually most people in the city are. Is, are you a DoorDash user? So you get free delivery now with Grubhub from mm -hmm. Amazon Prime, but I'm also impatient, so I tend to look at uh, Uber Eats because they have a priority button you can do and pay a little bit more and it comes faster, but there's a couple places that only are, are on DoorDash, so I, I'm a little bit of everything. Okay, that was a good answer because I do think that sometimes people have their loyalty to one, but Uber Eats does. It's like, it's only too patient. <laughs> I like things to, to come to me as fast as possible, so unfortunately, I, I do overspend on something like that. Okay, but that's if that's your advice, I totally get it, but also important to keep in mind for this example trade today that multiple legs can lead to multiple. Welcome back to Next Gen Investing. I'm Alex Coffey alongside Jenny Horn. And Jenny, we got an update from American Airlines on guidance. Talk to me about the details here uh, as the stock in reaction is on the move here. And currently, it's actually up a little bit. It's up about 2.8%. Uh, yeah, and it actually surprised me to see we aren't seeing really any strength carry over into the other airlines. And in light of Americans move higher today, up over just under 3% now, it's still underperforming its major airline competitors pretty significantly on the year. I mean, Delta's down about 26%, United down about 23%, Southwest down about 26%, Americans down over 32%. I guess that isn't by a wide margin, Alex, although it is the worst performer. That's such a good way to put it, too, because unfortunately, you never take to social media or to your friends or family and say, can you believe my flight was on time today? Like the outrage, people are only outraged when they're so flights So to delayed. be fair though, should you be excited because they did what you paid them to do? That's a good point. I guess where I draw the line is when people are tweeting, like, like I, there was a time last December in Chicago and we were getting like three feet of snow and people were like outraged that these airlines weren't flying. And it's like, is that really American Airlines fault that there's a, a, bl a blizzard or a hurricane or some kind of inclement weather? Of course. So as uh, interest rates continue to increase, uh, revolving debt, uh, when you're as debt ridden as American Airlines, it, it's tough. Uh, this is more of a, obviously a conversation that someone like George Tillis could help us with, but uh, there's a lot of, uh, you know, kind of 
corporate debt and, and how much servicing that debt really weighs on this company. You throw in uh, the issues that they have with maybe pilot shortages, uh, you know, flight attendant shortages, things in, in, that, nature, uh, in that nature as well. Uh, just a lot of things coming at the same time here uh, for American Airlines and its peers, to be fair. It's not only American Airlines that's struggling. Uh, and then also tied in the fact that maybe discretionary spend is going to be decreasing uh, a little bit here as uh, the continued increase of other consumer staples weighs on the pocketbook of uh, everyday Americans. Yeah, it does feel like gone are the days where you could book a flight under $100 during the pandemic. You could fly to Florida for like $50 on Spirit Airlines. That doesn't seem to be the case anymore as anytime I browse for flight prices, they do seem relatively high. But someone, of course, has got to pay for the rising cost of fuel and the other challenges that airlines have been